Hey guys, Tech Made Easy here, and uh, we are going to do a review on the JBL Party Box 100. Now, this is actually the latest speaker that came out of JBL in this product line. Okay, this is actually um, a member, the fourth member, actually. So they have the Party Box 1000, which is 1100 watts. They have the Party Box 300, which is 240 watts. They have the Party Box 200, which is 240 watts as well. And then the Party Box 100, which is 160 watts. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and turn it on, and then I'm going to go over some specs. I'm going to do a demo indoors, and then I'm going to do a demo outdoors, okay? So let me bring this closer so we can actually just turn it on initially. I'm going to go over the controls and everything, guys, okay? But what I want you to see here is um, the controls, all right? So on the right, you have your uh, power meter, so it's going to actually show you how much battery you have, and I'll show you that when I turn it on, all right? Um, you have your power button, your Bluetooth button, but this also will let you pair to another Party 100 speaker, a maximum of one more to give you the stereo sound that you want. This is the light button because this speaker has LED lights. Your volume up, your volume down, your play and your pause, and then your boost, which by the way has two levels. Okay, by the way, the lights can be turned off. Okay, so let's go ahead and turn it on. Okay. It is connected now that it's white and it's showing 80% battery. So there are five indicators. Okay, there are five indicators. Uh, we are now connected. So I have 80% uh, battery basically. It just turned off. Okay. Um, I'm going to leave bass boost off. All right. So I'm going to turn that off for now because I want you to hear it without bass boost. I want you to hear it with the two levels of bass boost. But before I do the demo, let's go ahead and review the controls and let's review the features. Okay. Number one, in the back of the speaker, you've got your controls. Okay. I'll hold it with my legs and I will zoom in for you. All right, there you go. Good zoom in. All right, so to your left, you've actually got your USB port. Now, this port is actually made so you can plug in a USB drive with music on it and let it play. So that's actually pretty cool. So you don't have to have your phone nearby. You can just rock with a USB flash, uh, flash drive, and it'll go. You have an auxiliary in and an auxiliary out. I'll tell you more about that in a little while. You can plug in a microphone or a guitar or both, and you can have the gain set differently for each of these. All right. So if you want your microphone to be louder than your guitar, you can adjust that, which is really cool. All right. Um, what else? You've got a 12 hour battery on this. All right, so this is a 12-hour battery. I'll zoom back out for you. It, ha it weighs 25 pounds. Okay. Um, the other thing I noticed, by the way, is if you plug this in with the provided plug, it actually will give you a little bit additional base. Okay. So it's something that I recognized when I plugged it in. It was just a drop more bass, but I could definitely tell the difference. Now on here you have two five inch, um, five and a quarter inch uh, woofers, and you have two two and a half inch tweeters. So you get a good mix of sound. The other thing I want you to notice on the bottom is you have a pole mount. Okay, I'm going to zoom back out a little bit more. So. On the bottom, you can actually pole mount this. Now, why would you want to do that? Let's say you're going to, you know, have a party in your backyard and you don't want this on the ground, right? 
Now, if you did want it on the ground, you do actually get the rubbers on the bottom. And you do get the rubbers, as you can see, on the side. And then you get it on the other side. So it's not just a design. It's actually functional. I use the bottom myself. I like putting this up in the air. But taking this off, let's go ahead and open up the pole mount so you can actually see the pole mount, you know, basically where it goes. So pop this out real easy. All right, put your pole mount in. And now you can raise this off the floor. And if you get a set of two, um, that's pretty cool. All right. It's an amazing little speaker. And I got to tell you, I mean, I was thinking about getting a 200 or a 300. You know, I always want the biggest and the best, but this seems to have some really nice features. Um, let's see. If you, yeah, so we talk, if you want stereo, you can actually get two of these, okay? And you got two ways to connect both of the speakers. So, number one, if you want to connect this to a separate JBL 100, you would hold down the Bluetooth for five seconds. And then you would do the same on the other speaker. And then these two speakers would actually connect to each other. Or you can actually connect them via auxiliary. So you can actually do the auxiliary in and out, right? Remember that I showed you that before? So it's used for multiple things. But you can actually connect from the out of the other speaker into this in um, and basically you want to you want to go from the out on the speaker that's actually connected to you know like for instance if you have a usb drive in this speaker okay then you want the sound to come out of here and into the other one okay if you have the bluetooth connected to this speaker to your phone same thing. You want to go out from this speaker to the in on the other speaker. All right. You know, just giving you a little bit more detail. Not everybody knows um, all about this. And so this is what this channel is about. It's about sharing information and being helpful so you can kind of make a decision. Um, we went over the controls already, which is nice. Um, with the lights, you get three levels of lights. So I'm going to actually go ahead and connect this now so we can play with some sound and uh, show you what that looks like. So now this is, uh, just so you'll know I have the lights off now. If I raise the volume, you, you see how I'm lowering the volume and raising the volume? So, so I have the lights off, but basically it'll use the lights to show you if, you know, your volume level. So I like that. All right. But let's go ahead and raise the volume using the button here for a minute. And I just want to show you lights for now. So I'm going to hit level number one. Okay. And then this is level number two. So it's a different pattern. And then that's your third option. Okay. So, I mean, a really nice speaker, I'll tell you. I'm not a big lights guy. But let's go ahead and continue our sound test now, okay? I'm going to move this back a little bit. It's indoors. It's got a nice rug. 160 watts, don't forget. Come here. I need you to move over. Go ahead. Sit. All right, so... This is uh, almost 100%. That's 100%. Now, guys, I'm going to lower it to half, 50% for a second. That's with the base, you know, is actually on, but it's not you know, the feature of pressing the button. So let's press this button once and turn it on. And I think this is the full bass. Now what it does is it lowers the volume temporarily to protect the speaker. Let's raise it up. hundred percent guys it's a hundred percent now let me go to the other level of bass for a second because I think that's a little lighter level of bass 
Hit it again. Now listen, it's going to lower the volume. All right, I'm going to press it. Ready? All right, so that is a higher level of bass. Yep. Definitely. A hundred percent. All right. All right, guys, so I'm outside right now. I set this speaker up, okay, and I did kind of put like a chair here, my iPad and stuff, so I've got a little distance, but I am outside. I wanted to see how it sounds outside. Now, I did turn off the bass boost for now. We're going to go ahead and see how this same song sounds without the bass boost. You ready? Okay, here we go. Now I'm at 50%. Yep, all right, still keep it about 50%. All right, now let's raise it up. Let's go to 100%. I've got to tell you, you know, it actually sounds really nice outside. Um, you know, the bass still sounds really sweet. And considering the bass port is in the back, you know, when you look at this speaker, you know, take a good look at the speaker, but it, your, your bass port is, is right here in the back. It's also where your plug is. You got your plug, your bass port, you know, your controls, like I said before. Still a good look at the speaker. And then I'm going to go into... Uh, the other two base modes, okay guys? So we'll check that out. I like that. Look at the design on it, okay? It's got the handle, which is really cool. So you got a handle. Um, I think you can put your phone here, by the way, if you're going to leave your phone in an angle. All right, but let's go ahead and kick it up. I'm going to go ahead and press the first level of bass boost. The light turns on, the speaker... As you can see, the sound turns off temporarily. All right, let's see. Going up. nice man so look this is a $350 speaker you know you might be able to find it for $399 $400 I had to buy mine on eBay to be honest with you but I did finally find them on Amazon um, I think they're reconditioned Amazon guarantees it for 90 days uh, I will put the link in the description okay guys but uh, hey couple things number one if if the video helped in some way thumbs up the other thing we ask for now is, hey, share the video, you know. I mean, sharing the video helps. Um, I'm going to put my Tech Made Easy logo like I normally do in the upper right-hand corner. If you're new to this channel, check out my tech playlist. 
Um, check out my Get Off, Get Off Gas playlist. Uh, a couple of my playlists are organized. And I'm going to put my tech playlist right here in the upper right hand upper left hand corner. I'll put another playlist there as well. But guys, this is a beautiful speaker. Hey, I appreciate your time. I hope the video was helpful. Again, thumbs up and shares. We'll really appreciate. Thanks a lot. Have a great day.